the most popular way of blocking Internet ads in a browser is using blocking extensions. There are many such extensions available. However, the most popular one is Adblock. Let's talk more about it and how to use it. Adblock is available for all main browsers. In order to use it, you have to install this extension. To do it, go to your browser menu to find Extensions, Get more extensions or Add extensions. You can find this menu in all top browsers. Visit our channel to see the rating of best free browsers. Find the link to the video in the description. So you enter Adblock in the search field. After that, open the extension page and install it. The extension is free, so if you see an invitation to pay something, if it pops up, ignore it, just close it. After that, an Adblock icon will appear in the browser extension bar. By clicking on it, you can set up, disable or enable the blocker. Disable Adblock and go to one of the websites containing a lot of advertising. Now let's enable it and refresh the page to see the difference. As you can see, it's striking. Adblock can be installed from the Browser Extension Store and from the developer's website. You will find the links in the description. However, you don't always have to install an extension to block advertising. Opera has a built-in ad blocker. To enable it, go to Settings – Basic. At the top of the menu you will see Block Ads. Enable it. Now an ad blocker icon is shown in the extension bar. By clicking on it, you can enable or disable it and see blocking statistics. Let's go to a website containing advertising and see how the blocker works. As we can see, it lets through more ads than Adblock. Still, it does work. Let's hope its quality gets better after another update. You will find the link to Opera's website in the description. There are also special programs designed to block ads. I mean special applications instead of browser extensions. They are mostly fee-paying, however, they don't cost much. The most popular one by now is AdGuard. It's got a wide range of functions and it does its work quite well. The trial period is two weeks. To use AdGuard, just run it, and it will work in the background mode. Let's go to a website containing advertising and see how AdGuard works. Find the link to its homepage in the description. There are also options to block ads for smartphones. However, you can't install an extension to block ads in a particular browser. As a rule, mobile versions of browsers don't have such functions. For smartphones, there are two ways to block ads – a standalone ad blocker to cut off all advertising for this device. It requires root rights, for example, ad free or ad away, but this is a topic for another video. Or a special browser with a built-in ad blocker utility. For example, Opera Mini, a browser for, mo for mobile gadgets, its functions are similar to Opera's desktop version. Install Opera Mini with Play Market for Android or from App Store for iOS. Start it. By default, the ad blocker is enabled. However, it can be turned on or off. You can do it from the browser's quick menu or by going to Settings, Data Savings, Ad Blocking. Let's see how it works. Turn blocking off and go to a website full of advertising. Now let's turn blocking on and refresh the page. As you can see, no more ads to show. In this video, I can't help mentioning the popular adblock browser with a built-in ad blocking function created by the same team who developed the most popular extension, adblock. This browser has versions for both Android and iOS.
as well as, it, as its extension cousin, the browser does its job very well. Opening a website with advertising? We can't see any. Now turn off ad blocking and refresh the page. All adverts are here. A special feature of this browser is the opportunity to fine-tune its ad blocking function. It includes blocking intrusive elements, adding or deleting filtering lists by languages, exclusion list. It can also uh, disable tracking from websites, disable domains containing malware, hide messages against blocking, and disable social media buttons. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!